Hey, how do you doodly do? My name is Roger and for the past few years before COVID I was sailing in the Mediterranean. Now that it is not possible for me to travel abroad due to the world situation, I decided to explore my own country and share it with you guys. In the previous episode I was on a sightseeing and fishing safari with the old fishing vessel Sjöblomsten. In this episode I visit an old friend at his summer house paradise and catch something very unexpected on the hook as we go fishing. Just a quick note before we dive into this episode, I have recently opened a merch shop at my website, so please check it out. But now, come along! Yes, I'm here to meet Vebjörn, a friend of mine that I went to school with. We went to, we went to cookery school together 27 years ago. And uh, now he found out I was in the north of Norway and he is living here. <laughs> What's the name of this island? Gapøya. Ja. Gapøya? Ja. And it is in Vesterol. Uh, it's on the border. It's actually Vesterol. That's Vesterol. But this is. Uh... Oh. Southern Troms. Ah. I guess. Okay. Mm. It's a beautiful place and uh, now it's the Midsummer Eve weekend. So, it yeah, it is the longest days and here is day all day around. <laughs> but we still have snow, not far from the from the coastline. How warm do you say the, the water temperature can get here? 15, 16 degrees I think we've had, but uh, I guess a normal summer it's not more than... 13, 13. Yeah. It's a, a normal summer day. So it's a Viking beach day. Yes. yes. Viking beaches. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was swimming from a sailboat, but I don't know if I would take it slowly and go out on this beach. It's beautiful. Yeah. But, uh, but it's a lot of wasted beaches up there. I think every man <laughs> could have their own beach. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot of beautiful beaches, but they, they're hardly used because so yeah, it's not warm enough. And, yeah. And so Me and Vebjörn, we were schoolmates uh, at cookery school 27 years ago. <laughs> and we have probably seen each other one time since. Yeah. For a few seconds on a very wet evening. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So. This was so cool meeting him again. Uh, and this is his vacation spot, his vacation house over here. Very beautiful place. This island has no cars, no electricity, no running water. Everything is back to basic. Back to the roots. Yeah. <laughs> nice life. Easy but you're, life. For but you're here life. just for the holidays and the weekends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. No plans for moving from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do you do when you're here? We we go fishing. We go well. I guess the kids they go playing at the beach. Yeah, like they are now. They're looking for crabs and yeah. shells and crabfish, yeah. shells, mm. snails, mm. whatever they can find. Mm. <laughs> And you go hunting for wild animals? Yeah, during autumn we can hunt. 
Start with goose hunting, but then there's hardly no goose during the hunting season uh, out here. Oh. And then it's uh, tom again, black crows, and moose finally in the October. Yeah. So there's some variety. But it's... Yeah. It's so cool. Uh, Webern told me that uh, the moose sometimes come swimming from shore on the other side over to this island. So there is actually a moose to be hunted on this island. Mm. That's, that's cool. It's and quite far to swim. It is. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, I think the it's shortest. It's, uh, short, shortest. It's uh, more than four kilometers. Yeah. And the moose is doing that. Yeah. That's, that's cool. This is the road on the island and uh, it used to be a gravel road but now they have to uh, keep the grass down on it. <laughs> Green tarmac. Green tarmac, yes. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yes, what do you think we will find here? Probably some safe and uh, perhaps uh, cod. Yeah. Uh, if we're lucky, some halibut. But, uh, it's not that often we catch uh, halibut in this boat. Okay. Why not? Well, we found the right spot. Sorry? Did we find the right spot? Yeah, I can't see any fish. Oh. Be able to spot them, but uh, what is the depth here? 42. Oh, so it's uh, 42 meters. 42 meters, yeah. Mm. It's roughly 40 meters at the shallowest, and then it goes down to a couple hundred or so. I'm not a very patient fisher. If I don't, if I don't catch anything at, uh, at once, then I uh, find a different spot. Cool. You're a spoiled fisher then. Probably. Yes. <laughs> Get too much fish. Don't want to work for it. No. Not at all. Giving up already? Yeah, that's Oh, this has been out for 30 seconds? Nah, at least 40. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless. The fish wheel is quite uh, It's very efficient, but uh, it's not sports fishing. You, it's not very funny to get a fish. No. I got a feeling I should get inside. <laughs> I I seen Webjorn smile that he's planning to speed a little. Uh, yeah. Webjorn, what about your phone? I 
<laughs> Let's see the giants appearing. What do you think you have? I don't know. Ah, uh, it's a small one. Only one? Just look at the technique. Oh. Just look at the technique. It's really a, a winder. Yes! Oh, that's a nice one. Two of them. Now I want to cook us dinner. Huh? One solo. One solo. Let's see what's happening now. Is it a whale? It's definitely not a whale. <laughs> not even a small seal. Not even a whale rose. I think it's bait. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's maybe the biggest. That might be the catch of the day. Of the pollux, yes? Yeah. It felt small. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. That's the one, the ones we want. Yes.
Ja. 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 Treehouse. Everybody needs a treehouse. Didn't you know? Uh, not until now. Now I do. Why haven't I got a treehouse? <laughs> Hello. Hello. This was a nice house. Yeah. Yes. How are you? Yes. Thank. See you later, alligator. Yeah, that's it for this episode. As always, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share with all of your friends. Patrons get early access, so if you want to help out, head on over there. A very big thank you to all my supporters, especially my gold supporter, Harvey Engwert. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.